Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Soy Erika y bienvenidos a mi canal. Hi everyone, my name is Erika and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional second languages teacher who also teaches Spanish here on YouTube. So if you're wanting to learn the language, I have a bunch of video lessons on my channel, so you should definitely go and check those out. But for today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit more fun and teach you about Spanish slang I think you should know if you ever decide to go to Spain. Now, why is it important to know slang? The first reason is that it teaches you how to speak more spoken, everyday Spanish. Second is that it will teach you more about the culture, which is always important when learning any second language. And the third reason is because knowing some of these words can save you from some unfortunate misunderstandings like have happened to me in the past. And I'll let you know right away with that first one when I had kind of an embarrassing misunderstanding. Y bueno, si te gusta el video, por favor suscríbete. Y también si eres español y si quieres enseñarnos algunas palabras más, por favor, escríbelas en los comentarios abajo. Bueno, okay, let's get started with the video. So, here I have some words, guapa, tío, tía y hombre. These are the literal meanings, but let's just ignore those for now. So when I went to Spain, when I got there right away, people such as store clerks, men, were always calling me guapa. And it was when I was just going to buy something and I was thinking, oh, wow, they're calling me pretty. Maybe it's like part of the culture just to always call you like young girls pretty. And then I went to the Mercado and the woman called me pretty. And I was saying, oh, wow, she even she's calling me pretty so nice. And then I heard her call the woman next to me pretty. And then the grandma next to me pretty. And I heard the men also calling the grandmas to be pretty. And I was thinking, oh, it's just a general way of referring to someone in Spanish. So. If you go to Spain and someone calls you guapa, they're not necessarily flirting with you or calling you pretty. It's more of just a general way of referring to someone. Like in English, how we would say man or dude or buddy, something like that, okay? So people can also say tío or tía, they'll use that for your friend. Or they can also say hombre, and it's just how to refer to you without saying your name in a, like, a general way. So instead of saying señor, señorita, señora, they might say this to make it more informal, okay? Now, hombre, I've had it used on me too, so I don't know if it's only for men. I think you can say it for whoever, okay? But these are all informal. This is slang, okay? It's always informal. Okay, the next thing I have is que mono, which I love. Uh, when I first went to Spain, I heard que mono, and I'm, I was thinking, why are they calling people monkeys? Because mono means monkey, but it actually means how cute, okay? So que mono means how cute. Que chulo means how cool, all right? I think depending on the country, chulo can mean different things, but in Spain, it means how cool, okay? So que chulo, que cool, que mono, que how cute. Next, flipar. When I heard this, it, it can kind of make sense because flipping out, flipar sounds like to flip, but it means to freak out. So if I say me flipa, it means I'm freaking out. If I want to take it to the next level and say I'm floored, I can say me quiero flipado, which is like I'm staying floored, like freaking out, okay? So me flipa is I'm freaking out. If someone says that to you, they're not flipping over. They're not doing somersault or backflips. They're super excited. All right, madre mía. This one is like, oh my goodness, OMG. Uh, we have madre mía. We have hostia, which is a bit more aggressive. Again, this is slang. Please don't use these in an essay or in a formal boss meeting with your boss or something. This third one, uy, in Murcia, I heard so many people say uy, and it's a sound that you make to say, oh my gosh, or if you want to say, but you, it's just a sound that people made. And I don't know if it was just my friends or in Murcia, but people would say uy. And I still say it now when I'm speaking English, and I only hear like, Spanish people saying it, so I don't know. Uy, though. I always use uy. Okay, next we have some tips. Bebidas. So this is slang because it's not necessarily slang, but you, I'm going to teach you how to order one cheaper and for my, in my experience, yummier drinks, okay, in Spanish. So instead of asking for una cerveza, a beer, when you go to Spain, you can ask for una caña, which is, it, it's exactly this. It's a glass of beer. It's going to cost you like two or three euros or less. 
and it's super delicious. And you can even get some chips or olives on the side with it as well. So order una caña. If you just want a glass of beer and you don't care, just order una caña and you're going to save yourself some money. The second thing is tinto de verano. So this drink, I think when people go to Spain, they assume that people will always be drinking sangrias. But I never saw a local order a sangria. They always order tinto de verano, at least with people my age. Tinto de verano. And it's red wine. I think traditionally it's mixed with lemonade and a soda, like a, a tonic soda. But to make it cheaper, uh, we just mixed it with red wine and Sprite. And it's so delicious and it's so cheap and everywhere has it. And I love it. I like it more than, than sangria, in my opinion. So if you want to go to a bar, another thing, a bar in Spain is also where you get breakfast, coffee, or merienda, a snack. You go to the bar. It's not just a place where there's only alcohol and where you people get drunk. That's not really what a bar is. It's just a snack, a snack place, I would say, okay, or to get a nice drink. So if you go to a bar, order una caña or quinto de verano if you want to order like the locals. Okay. If you like this video, please subscribe. Let me know what you think or if you have any video requests down below and I'll see you in the next lesson. Adios todos.